Published, 8.46 Eastern Standard Time, the 21st of January 2019. Updated, 9.07 Eastern Standard Time, the 21st of January 2019. Visitors to Parliament Square in London on Saturday were surprised to see a lone woman, dressed in red crawling on all fours across the paving stones. Many theories swirled online as to who the woman is and what she was doing, with one person even questioning whether the lady in red lost a contact lens. According to one person online the woman is an artist called Anna Mendy. Ian Penson said that, Anna Mendy, is the persona adopted by renowned Italian artist Vanessa Beecroft when performing in public spaces as a tribute to Anna Mendita, a Cuban-American artist, whom Beecroft greatly admires. The mysterious woman is, in fact, an artist called Anna Mendy according to one person online he, he was involved in the project and said the artist, who has choreographed Kanye West's Yeezy fashion shows was performing her piece, Story of the Artist's Journey, and so we walked, it was being filmed from the tops of adjacent buildings and will be shown at Tate Modern in August in a major retrospective of her work, he added. Another report suggested that the artist is Ellen Angus who lives and works between Nottingham and Umea, Sweden. She is a prize-winning artist who is part of London-based feminist collective, not so popular. Vanessa Beecroft is a well-known US-based feminist activist who may have been in the area as part of the Women's March that made its way to Portland Place. Close to Parliament Square, protesters gathered in Portland Place, Marylebone, at 12 p.m. as part of a rally against austerity in the UK, before making their way towards Trafalgar Square and this is the reason for the same press photographers that took an interest in the lady in red. Apparently the artist was performing her piece, Story of the Artist's Journey, and so we walked. The demonstrators marched through London on Saturday ahead of the anniversary of Donald Trump's inauguration as president in the U.S. This year's protest had the theme, Bread and Roses, in honor of American Rose Schneiderman who fronted a rally of the same name in 1912. Bread and Roses originated from a speech by Ms. Schneiderman, in which she said, the worker must have bread, but she must have roses, too, meaning workers should be entitled to a life where they are doing more than just surviving, something different, isn't it?" said one passerby as others scrambled to take pictures of the mysterious woman. It is not the first time that performance art has dazzled and confused Londoners. In 2016, performance artist Myla Moore had been in the Capitol promoting her Mirabox show, in which she offers members of the public the chance to feel breasts or genitals for 30 seconds, but she was arrested by Paulus following a complaint from a passerby clearly unimpressed with her routine. On previous occasions, the artist's antics have seen her walk around a museum carrying a baby, pose for selfies with tourists in front of the Eiffel Tower, and protesting in Cologne, all while naked. In her London show, she offered people over the age of 18 the opportunity to touch her breasts or genitals while she uses a stopwatch to time them. performance artist Myla Moore had been in London promoting her Mirabox show, in which she offers members of the public the chance to feel breasts or genitals for 30 second SMS Moore told the Mirror Online at the time that police warned her she was breaking the law, before arresting her and taking her to court. She added other countries in Europe had a more liberal and accepting approach to her show, in Amsterdam it was very different, they are more free towards sexuality, she said. A woman who travels Europe inviting complete strangers to touch her genitals as an expression of art was arrested in Trafalgar Square.